Response to Atheist Claims on Proving God The Universe's Beginning When atheists ask for proof of God and dismiss creation as nonsense, it's important to start with the observable facts about the universe's existence. Modern science overwhelmingly supports that the universe had a beginning. The prevailing model, the Big Bang Theory, proposes that the universe began around 13.8 billion years ago. Before this, there was no space, no time, and no matter. This implies the universe is not eternal, but had a point of origin. This is significant because anything that begins to exist must have a cause. The law of causality is foundational to both science and logic. Philosopher William Lane Craig developed what's called the Kalam Cosmological Argument, which breaks down into three simple points. One, everything that begins to exist has a cause. Two, the universe began to exist. Three, therefore the universe has a cause. Uh, if the universe has a cause, this cause must be outside the universe, since the universe did not exist before, and thus it must be immaterial, timeless, and incredibly powerful, essentially the qualities attributed to God. Atheists may reply with, we don't know what caused the universe, but it wasn't God. However, when they admit they don't know, they are making an unjustifiable leap by excluding God without proof. If they don't know, then they cannot claim that God wasn't involved. The only intellectually honest position they can take is agnosticism on the cause. Eternal Universe and Science For an atheist to claim the universe is eternal would also contradict modern science. The second law of thermodynamics suggests that usable energy in the universe is gradually being depleted. If the universe were eternal, it would have run out of usable energy an infinite time ago. But we still have energy, which indicates the universe had a beginning. Additionally, Einstein's theory of general relativity shows that space, time, and matter are interwoven and all came into existence simultaneously. Even scientists like Stephen Hawking admitted that time itself had a beginning at the Big Bang. This supports the idea that the universe is not eternal and must have been caused by something or someone outside the natural world. The illogicality of I don't know, but it wasn't God Many atheists appeal to, I don't know, when pressed on how the universe came into existence, but immediately follow that by, by ruling out God. This is not a logically consistent position. You can't dismiss a possible cause, God, without evidence. Claiming it wasn't God without knowing the actual cause is not based on reasoning, but on presupposition, which is intellectually dishonest. Moreover, by ruling out God from the start, they are engaging in philosophical naturalism, the belief that everything can be explained by natural processes alone. But that's an assumption, not an evidence-based conclusion. Physicist Paul Davies once said, The laws of physics seem themselves to be the product of exceedingly ingenious design. The universe must have a purpose. Biblical Insights on the Atheistic Mindset Though quoting scripture may not convince an atheist outright, it's important to understand the spiritual dimension of their rejection. The Bible anticipated this very response. Romans 1, verse 20 to 21 explains that God's invisible attributes, his eternal power and divine nature, are clearly seen in creation, so people are without excuse. But instead of worshiping God, they suppress the truth in unrighteousness. 2 Peter 3, 3 to 4 warns that in the last days, scoffers will come following their own sinful desires, saying, where is the promise of his coming? 1 Corinthians 1, 20 shows that God has made the wisdom of the world foolish. Despite their intellect, without God, they cannot understand the deepest truths. This suppression of the truth aligns with what many atheists do. They may acknowledge the evidence that points to a designer, but suppress the logical conclusion out of rebellion or pride. A final thought on science and faith. While many atheists demand proof of God through science, it's important to point out that science itself is limited to studying the natural world. It cannot prove or disprove supernatural realities because they are, by definition, beyond the scope of natural science. However, science can point to the limitations of naturalistic explanations. When all natural explanations fall short, such as in explaining the origin of the universe, it opens the door to considering supernatural causes. Physicist Robert Jastrow, who was agnostic, once said, for the scientist who has lived by his faith in the power of reason, the story ends like a bad dream. He has scaled the mountains of ignorance. 
he is about to conquer the highest peak. As he pulls himself over the final rock, he is greeted by a band of theologians who have been sitting there for centuries. Summary, science supports the universe had at a beginning, which aligns with the need for a cause outside the universe. Philosophical naturalism is an assumption, not a conclusion. Claiming it wasn't God is illogical without evidence. The second law of thermodynamics and Einstein's theory of relativity both disprove the idea of an eternal universe. Callum cosmological argument suggests the universe must have had a cause, and the characteristics of this cause point to God. Scripture anticipated atheists' rejection of God and the suppression of truth, making their mindset unsurprising from a biblical standpoint. This response gives a logical, science-based argument while also reminding us that Scripture already predicted the rejection and suppression of God's truth.